Hey guys, I'm back with a new video. In this video, let us see how we can solve the problem rotating a matrix by 90 degree in anti-clockwise direction. So this is a very typical interview question. So let us see how we can solve it. So we are given a square matrix and here let us say the square matrix is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, now we need to turn it by 90 degrees in an anti-clockwise direction. So the anti-clockwise direction is basically this one. So we want the final output to be. So if we have this row 1, 2, 3. This should come like this. So 3, 2, 1. This row 4, 5, 6 should come like this. So 6, 5, 4. And final one should come like this. 9, 8, 7. So consider this row. If this gets rotated by 90 degree in an anti-clockwise direction, then this will become 9, 8, 7. So 7 will come right here. 8 will come right here. And 9 will come right here. And hence the result. Now one thing you can clearly see that 5 stays at the same position. So let us see the approach that we can take for solving this question. So the idea here is to find the transpose of the matrix first. So if we take the matrix 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And we find a transpose of this matrix. So you can see this is a 3 by 3 matrix. So if you find the transpose, then the rows will become columns. And the columns will become rows. So we get 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 7, 8, 9. So this is the transpose of the matrix. And you can see this doesn't match with the result that we want. So the next step is to reverse the columns of the transposed matrix. So this column, if we reverse it, we get 3, 2, 1. Then take the second column, we get 6, 5, 4. And take the last column, 9, 8, 7. And this is our final result. And it matches with our final output right so the approach here says that we first need to find the transpose of the matrix and then we need to reverse the columns of our matrix so if we split this problem we have exactly two tasks that we need to solve first is to find the transpose of the matrix and the second one is to reverse the columns so let us write the code for this one so back to visual studio code let me create a new file rotate 90 anti clockwise dot js now let us first understand how the transpose actually will work so if you see this array let me let me create some space okay so consider this array 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So if it's considered this 3 by 3 matrix, the first element of the array can be represented as A11. So first row, first column, A12. The second element of the first row, so first row, second column, A13. First row, third column, and so on for other elements, A31, A32 and a33 so this a32 represents the third row and second column and so on for others right so if you do a transpose then this array will become something like this so a11 a12 a13 a21 a22 a23 a31 a32 a33 let us say this matrix be b which is the transpose of A. So B is equals to A transpose. So what we want to do here is that we want Aij, which is this element, to come at the position of Aji, right? And there will be no impact on the main diagonal. So for the main diagonal, I is equals to J, as you can see. So 1, 1, 2, 2, and 3, 3. And here a12 will come at the place of a21 as you can see so let us code this out so let me first define an array of elements
not an array of elements but an array of arrays so a 2d matrix so here let us first set the first row so one two three and four let us take this as a four by four matrix five six seven eight nine ten eleven and twelve and the last row 13 14 15 and 16 let us first write a function to print the elements of the matrix so here we will need two loops one for the rows of the matrix and the other one for the columns of the matrix so function print matrix and this will take on the elements which is our matrix so matrix here is a two-dimensional array so first we need a loop that will iterate over all our rows so for let i is zero i less than elements dot length so elements dot length will give us the number of rows that we are having in our matrix which is four and i plus plus now for each row we need another loop to print the elements for that particular row so if we are on the first row which is this one we need a loop to iterate over all the elements of this row right so here i will define another loop for let j as zero and the number of and the number of elements in each row will be equal to the number of columns that we have in our matrix which we can get by extracting the element that is sitting at index zero of this element array and the element that is sitting at index zero of this elements array is itself an array and we can grab the length of this which gives us four so we have four columns so four rows and four columns j less than elements zero dot length j plus plus so element zero will give us this first row and its length is four right now right before this loop let us set up a variable where we will form our resultant string that represents the numbers that we get as a result of iterating over the entire matrix now to reference a number in our matrix we can use this so elements so at the index i this will give us a row and then we want to access the jth element of this row right so if i say elements 0 0 this will refer to the first element if I say elements 0, 1, this will refer to the second element of the first row. So if we have three rows and three columns, indexing will go from 0 to 2 and here also 0 to 2. So if you want to access this element, we can say A1, which represents this entire row, the middle one. And then to access this particular element, we can reference the column now so a11 and this gives us access to this element let us say for this one this will be a the third row so the index will be 2 and the third column so a22 let us say for this one so the first row which we can extract by saying a0 and for the row represented by a0 we want to extract the third element which we can reference as 2 so a02 and here let us give some space and now let us lock the result to the console and here let us call the print matrix function pass the elements matrix and now let us run the file so ro node rotate 90 anti-clockwise and here is our matrix so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 and goes on till 16 now let us define the code for rotating the matrix by 90 degree in an anti-clockwise fashion so function rotate matrix by 90 anti-clockwise and this expects to get a matrix so a square matrix so the very first step is to transpose the matrix and the second step will be to reverse the columns of the matrix that we get from step one 
Now here we need to perform a swap between AIJ and AJI. So if we have the element A01 and A10 for example, then we want the number that is sitting at A01 to go to A10 and the number that is sitting at A10 to go to A01, right? So let us write the code for transposing the matrix. So first we need a for loop that will go over the number of rows that we are having. So for let i as 0, i less than elements dot length, i plus plus. And then we need another for loop which starts from the index i and we go on till elements zero dot length which represents the number of columns that we are having and j plus plus and here we need to perform a simple swap logic so let temp elements i j elements i j elements j i and then elements j i equals temp so here let me first log the elements to the console and let us try this out okay so we are getting this as our output so this is the transpose for our matrix this one so the rows are now transformed to columns and the columns are now transformed to rows so let us do a quick dry run of our code before we proceed to the second part which is reversing the columns of the matrix to get our final result. So let us take an example to understand this. So consider a 3x3 three three matrix. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And let us perform this code on our matrix. So for let i is 0, i less than elements dot length. So elements dot length is basically the number of rows that we are having. So elements dot length will give us the number of rows that we are having here. So here we are having four rows. So four elements and each element in turn is an array. So we have four and for the number of columns we say elements of zero dot length which is the first element of this elements array which itself is an array and its length is 4 so this gives us the number of columns for our elements matrix but for this matrix we have 3 rows and 3 columns right so for the very first iteration of the outer loop i is 0 and for the very first iteration of our inner loop j is equals to i so it means j is also 0 so now the condition j less than elements of 0 dot length so j less than 3 so it, this is 0 so 0 less than 3 is true so we will run these statements so we'll first create a temp variable and here we will collect the element that is sitting at i0 and j0 which is this one So we'll place it right here and then elements at i0, j0 equals elements j0 and i0 which is the same element itself and elements j0, i0 equals temp. So we will have this as one only. Now what will happen is that we will go for the second iteration of our inner loop. So i will still stay the same and j will turn to 1 so 1 less than 3 we make it into the for loop and then we perform a swap between elements 0 1 which is this 2 and elements 1 0 which is 4 so perform a swap now so 4 will come right here and 2 will come right here then j will get incremented by 1 so i is still 0 j becomes 2 our condition 2 less than 3 is still true so we make it into the for loop so again our for loop will run so we will make a swap between elements 0 2 which is this one 
and elements 2, 0, which is this one. So elements of 0, 2 is this and elements of 2, 0 is this 7. So now we perform a swap between 3 and 7. So 7 will come right here and 3 will come right here. Now j will get incremented by 1. So j will turn to 3. i will still remain 0 and 3 less than 3 is false. So we come out of our for loop and i will now get incremented by 1. So now it's time for the second iteration of our outer for loop. So now i is 1 and j will be equals to i which is 1. So now we are at this row and now our j will be equals to i. So right here. So the element that is sitting at the index i1 and j1 is 5. If you perform a swap using these three statements and creating a temp variable, so we will have the temp variable that will store this 5. We will perform a swap between elements 1, 1 and elements 1, 1 which is the same thing. So 5 will remain at the same place. Now what will happen is that j will now get incremented by 1. So i will still stay 1. j will become 2. Now elements 1, 2 is 6 and elements 2, 1 is 8. So we perform a swap between these two elements using the temp variable again. So now what will happen is that 8 will come right here and 6 will come right here. So now j will get incremented by 1 and will turn to 3. So now before going to the next iteration of this inner loop, we will check whether 3 is less than 3. So this is false. So we immediately come out of this for loop which is the inner one and now I will get incremented by 1. So i will now become 2 and j is equals to i. So j will also become 2. Now the element at the index i2 and j2 is 9. So if we perform a swap using the temp variable, we will get the same position for 9 again. And hence this is our final output for the transpose of the matrix. So here you can see the columns are transformed into rows. So here we are having the column 147. We have transformed it to a row. So 147, 258, 258, 369, 369. And rows are transformed to columns. So 123, 123, 789, 789. So this is the first part of our problem. Let us now perform a reversal for each of our columns to get the final output. So now from this matrix we want the final output as 3 2 1 6 5 4 9 8 7 and for the matrix that is there in the question we want the output to be a reversal of each of these columns so 4 3 2 1 8 7 6 5 12 11 10 9 And finally, 16, 15, 14, 13. So let us uh, solve this out now. So let me quickly explain the approach that we will be using here. So we will be using the regular two-pointer approach. So here if you see the transpose matrix that we got, 147. 258 and 369 for this matrix. So, original matrix was this one. So, here what we need to do is we need to iterate over each of our columns, and for each column, we need to perform a reversal, right? So, when we are on this column, we need to perform a reversal, and we can make use of the two pointer approach. So, we can take a left pointer and we can take a right pointer. So let me call it as LP and this will be 0 and RP and this will be elements length minus 1 which is the number of rows minus 1. So 3 minus 1 will be 2 and for each column we need to do this two pointer approach to reverse it. So if we apply on the first column we get 3 to 1. Now once this is done we move to the second column and again 
do the exact same thing to get 6, 5, 4 and then increment to move forward to the last column and then perform the two pointer approach to perform the reversal so 9, 8, 7 and you can see this is our final output right so now let us quickly write the code for this approach so here we need to write a loop that will go over all our columns so for let j as 0 j less than elements of 0 dot length and i plus plus so here we need our two pointers so let us create a variable left ptr and set this to 0 let right ptr set this to elements dot length minus 1 now we should keep performing the reversal for our column as long as the left pointer is less than the right pointer and here we can declare a variable temp and set this to elements left ptr and j which refers to the column indice that we are on so elements left ptr j elements right ptr j and elements right ptr j and set this to temp now once we are done with the swap we need to increment our left pointer by one and decrement our right pointer by one and then right after performing this reversal for each of our columns we can call the print matrix function and pass to it elements like this let me remove this log now and here let us run our script okay this should be j so let us run the script now and here is our final output which of course matches with this one if you see 4 8 12 16 3 7 11 15 2 6 10 14 and 1 5 9 13 right so now let us quickly do our dry run for our code for reversing the columns of the matrix so now let us take our transposed matrix which is this one 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 and let us perform the following code block for this matrix so for let j as 0 j less than elements of 0 dot length so the first row's length is 3 and j plus plus now we create two variables for the very first iteration first is left pointer which is set to 0 and right pointer which is set to elements dot length minus 1 so this is 3 so we have 3 rows minus 1 so 2 so as long as the left pointer is less than our right pointer we will perform a swap so here what we will do is we will create a variable temp and here we will place the value of elements left pointer and j so j is 0 for the very first iteration of this loop so elements of 0 0 is 1 so we place 1 in temp and elements of 0 0 is equals elements of 2 0 for the very first iteration so this means elements of 0 0 is this and elements of 2 0 is this so 0 1 2 0 1 2 so we perform a swap between these two so this gives us 3 2 1 and now after a swap we need to increment our left pointer by one so it now moves to here and we decrement our right pointer by one so now it moves to here now our left pointer becomes one right pointer becomes one one is less than one no it's false so we move to our second column so j will get incremented by one so now we are on our second column so again we perform the exact same steps we set the left pointer to 0 the right pointer to elements dot length minus 1 j is now 1 so temp will now keep the value elements left pointer j so elements 0 1 which is 4 so 4 is now placed in temp then elements 0 1 
will get assigned the value of elements right pointer and one so two one now so two one is this one and zero one is this so a swap is performed for these two elements and four and then left pointer is incremented by one and right pointer is decremented by one so lp turns one and rp turns one so one is not less than one we come out of this while loop and we increment j by one so j turns to two this means that we move forward to our last column and here also we perform these two lines first so we set the left pointer to zero the right pointer to element length minus one and j to two so the temp will now contain elements left pointer j so zero two which is seven so we'll place seven now right here and then the value of elements two two we will assign this value to elements of zero two so nine will come right here and then elements of two two which is this one we will assign the value of temp to it which is seven so here comes our seven we then increment our left pointer by one and decrement our right pointer by one so lp turns one rp turns one as well and then before making it into the next iteration of this while loop the check is evaluated so left pointer less than right pointer one less than one is false so we come out of our while loop we increment j by one so j turns to three now three is less than three which is false so we come out of our for loop and this is our result so this is how we can perform first the transpose of the matrix and then reversal for each of the columns using the two pointer approach to solve the problem for rotating a matrix in an anti clockwise direction by 90 degree so this was all i wanted to cover about this problem if you like the video do give it a thumbs up or comment down below if you have any queries please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and i will see you guys in the very next one